Hello there, this is Kusa, and welcome to my show. Let's talk a little bit about the situation in Europe. I really think these interlude videos are quite nice to actually demonstrate what happens and how the AI actually fares after I am done with the country. So let's actually start uh, with the obvious, uh, the countries that I've already played, of course. Great Britain. Great Britain has done, I mean, yeah, it's Great Britain now, it was England, has done pretty nice for themselves. They've beaten the French, they've conquered a lot in France itself, but due to some uh, rebels, they actually lost two of the provinces they actually have taken, Maine and Anjou. You may have noticed this in the playthrough from Burgundy as well. I've, I've mentioned it, I guess. Uh, also, I've seen Great Britain take a uh, quest for the New World, so we will take a, te uh, take a look at the New World a little bit later when we have talked about uh, the Ottomans and Novgorod as well. Otherwise, it looks pretty nice. They, they seem kind of strong, I mean, they, they seem to have a strong military. They are allied with Denmark, which helps a lot because they are one of the bigger powers as well. And, uh, yeah, I would, don't think anyone could really mess with them right now. I think the only country that is actually able to manage that is Burgundy at the moment. But only because I have played them and I have actually buffed their manpower supply a lot and also their uh, military um, level, their technology level, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's hope that they don't really destroy each other too much. I mean, I don't have anything against Burgundy actually taking uh, a little bit more from France by itself. But I really like England being uh, also a continental power, so I hope those two can maybe battle it out. I don't really care, but uh, that they both remain active in France itself. Okay, let's go over to the Ottomans. The Ottomans, well, it doesn't look that good actually for them. I mean, Oh, are the Ottomans actually at war with the Ottoman uh, with Mamluks? Yeah, they are. Well, this might actually be nice. Uh, this might actually be the opportunity uh, they need to actually um, get the Mamluks into a personal union, or maybe just conquer some provinces or vassalize. I don't really care what they do. I just want them to grow a little bit more, because until now the Ottomans have actually just uh, concentrated on on conquering stuff in in uh, the Iberian Peninsula. I don't really know the reason and I don't care about the reason, but I want them to stop and I want them to actually start doing smart things and not this kind of stupidity. And yeah, I also hope they can uh, manage to to uh, win the war against the Mamluks before I will actually just stomp over them with Castile. Because let's be honest, I think Castile is the, is the country to take next time. They are pretty strong, uh, both military tree-wise and in economy. Uh, they have the possibility of expanding. Oh, did the Ottomans actually lose uh, this province here? Because they had phases as far as I can remember. Probably rebels, probably. But in any case, I don't even know if I need to actually fight the Ottomans with Castilla. I can just send, I don't know, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the rebels and let them just turn over the provinces to me while the Ottomans are actually uh, tied up um, in Egypt and the Orient. But yeah, uh, I don't know, I actually expected the Ottomans to do a little bit better. I mean, I am in awe of them that they managed to, to conquer uh, stuff in, in uh, Spain. But to be honest, it's something that much uh, more useless that this is impressive. Uh, yeah, th what they need to do is actually get the Mamluks. And, and maybe try and conquer something north of the Black Sea, because this is the one big um, weakness the Ottomans have, uh, the, the Straits. Because you can't just block the Straits with your fucking fleet, I mean, you're gonna see it when I play the uh, when I play Castile. You just block the Straits and the Ottoman army can't get from one side to the other, and you can just focus on one side and completely destroy their army. And once you've uh, managed to besiege and, and conquer one of the, the parts, I mean the European or the Asian part, you just, they, they can't do anything anymore. I don't even want it to come to that because I think that will cripple them. Well, let's hope that, that uh, they will manage to recover because, yeah, we will do it as Spain probably and and the Ottomans will, will get their fair share of fighting. 
because uh, this is unacceptable for me as as Spain and it just looks ugly as well. Also as Spain I will need to to actually fight against England. And yeah, England as I have said is pretty strong and I actually hope that I can manage to to do it. Also Aragon, I will probably just uh, annex them. I won't just uh, beat around the bush with it. I won't try to get a personal union. I won't try to vassalize or something like that. I will just annex them probably as soon as I have the opportunity. Because, let's be honest, it takes 50 years to actually get the core. So as soon as we do it, uh, the sooner we do it, the better. We can expect, we can maybe try and hope for a core, for a mission that gives us a core or for an event that gives us claim on our rivals or stuff like that. But why take the chance? Let's just do it and be done with it. Uh, let's look at uh, the last country we have played with, Novgorod. Novgorod has actually done quite well for itself. Uh, they they fought the Golden Horde, I think. And it doesn't seem like they lost. So this is nice. This is, an, uh, this is a good thing. They have conquered a lot uh, from uh, Moscovy and they've annexed uh, Ryazan. The question is, is Ryazan actually core province or not? I'm not really sure and we can actually check it um, in the next session. Or I will just post it as an annotation or something like that uh, after I will check it. Also, they have gotten Özil, the most useless province they could have taken from the Teutonic Order. Which is annoying. Other things that happened in Europe. Well, Denmark hasn't managed to uh, inherit Sweden yet. Uh, yeah, not not the best best thing that could have happened, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter when they inherited it. It matters that they inherited sometime. Uh, because Sweden is strong enough economically to actually build up their, their uh, infrastructure by themselves without uh, being integrated into Denmark. And that's when Denmark inherits them, they will get all the benefits uh, that they would have gotten if they had them from the beginning. And I mean Denmark is strong enough right now to actually beat probably any any enemy, uh, especially in combination with Free Britain. Uh, they don't really need the additional uh, troops from Sweden. And I mean Sweden does have troops itself, so they will help anyway. It's not like Denmark is played by a human uh, and needs the troops to actually behave in a certain way. It's AI either way, so I think uh, I think they will do well in um, in the future. Uh, Austria has been eaten up by Bohemia. Bohemia has actually inherited Austria, which is... Well, I can't say I'm happy about it. I actually love having Austria in my games, but who knows? Maybe uh, Bohemia will have some kind of a trouble. Maybe Bavaria will uh, fight them and they will demand that Austria be uh, released. Who knows? You can never know. But uh, in the end, we just need to have uh, some strong country in Central Europe to actually be a counterbalance to France normally. Uh, but this time we don't even have a France. So Bohemia should do well against uh, Bavaria. Uh, against Bavaria, yes, and Burgundy. We have like a three-way tie in terms of power in, in Central Europe. So this should be uh, this should be actually okay. Also, Bavaria conquered Iceland. Why Why the hell would you do that, Bavaria? Why the hell? This is, I think, maybe not more useless than Özil, but it's it's close to being as useless as Özil is. Yeah, definitely. Well, this kind of uh, wraps up the, um, the discussion about Central Europe. What we could actually mention also is that Hessen conquered Köln, and that uh, Switzerland lost a couple of provinces it had in uh, in France, and probably Languedoc will um, secede sometime soon uh, because of rebels. Uh, we will see what what happens there. Okay, let's uh, let's check Asia a little bit. Uh, let's see, Persia has grown a little bit. The Mamluks have conquered the Jalalids, and uh, yeah, the Karakoyunluhor is also quite small. I think also due to the Mamluks, I think they actually beaten them. Uh, in India, the situation is almost the same as last time. Although I think the Angara has lost a couple of provinces to, Gondav uh, to Gondwana. And yeah, 
Well, it's still a free way tie between these three countries. But this might be interesting to play um, sometime soon. And Brunei is actually um, continuing to conquer itself through southeastern Asia, which is nice. They've actually started to conquer Marjbahit, and hopefully sometime soon they will conquer Makassar as well. And yeah, uh, let, let's see how they actually fare against Ming. This is a good question. I, I'm uh, very interested to seeing that. Also, Japan looks pretty much the same as last time. I can't really see a big difference. Uh, Fujiwara is still the dominating power and probably in the next 50 to 75 years they will uh, unite Japan. Which is alright by me. That might also be a country that is worth playing. As I think I have said before. The Kazakhs are pretty big. Hmm. Well, nothing else really springs to uh, mind. Muatapa, uh, Mutapa has conquered a fair part of um, Swahili, as has Adal, and also Ethiopia doesn't exist anymore. What else has happened here? Nothing much. Uh, Songhai is big again. Well, not much colonization going on in these parts, so I... I guess Spain hasn't uh, hasn't uh, actually seen too much of uh, southern and eastern Africa, but you can never know. Oh, and and Spain has actually started colonizing South America, which is which is cool. Yeah, they've they've started colonizing quite a lot. I mean, uh, quite a lot. It's three provinces, but it's something. I didn't expect them to have anything yet, to be honest. And England hasn't actually started colonizing anything yet. I guess they just don't have the the reach, the naval, um, what you call it, naval range to actually get there because uh, Iceland is actually Danish and they are allied with Denmark so I don't think they will actually get a foothold in, in Iceland to um, colonize Greenland and, and Canada. But we might see Denmark actually uh, starting to, to do that. You can never know. Maybe Denmark will colonize and just leave Europe alone. Although they are in a quite good position here to do uh, to do great stuff in Europe. But we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I'm happy that at least Castile started colonizing. I'm a little bit bummed out that Portugal didn't start to. But as, it's, as it looks like now, I don't even think Portugal will get the chance to colonize. Because uh, Castile has actually eaten them alive. And then the Ottomans came in and have eaten uh, a bunch of provinces from Portugal. Or one province. I don't know how, how many they had before the Ottomans attacked. And uh, yeah, they are pretty much toast right now. I mean, I could try to play Portugal and try to do something, but it would be very, very difficult. Especially against a Castile that's aggressive. You can't really do much. Let's, let's be honest. You can't really do much. You, uh, as Portugal, it's, it's uh, always a good idea to try and just go for colonization early on. Uh, get a foothold in, in South America or Southern America or wherever you want to go, the Caribbean, the Caribbean, and then if Castile attacks, just give them what they want in, in uh, continental Europe and Iberia and then just migrate to the uh, colonies. Because why not? Just Just go there and stay there. Well, anything else to actually say? Nothing much. We could talk about the possible countries to be played but I guess it's pretty much obvious I'm going to take a seal because I've talked about it and I've actually given my reasons and I've also made the plans with the country already so uh, I think it's pretty much set in stone uh, as usual Bohemia Bavaria I mean Bohemia now because it's uh, practically a replacement for Austria uh, Bavaria and Denmark are other candidates which uh, could be used but yeah, I think it's more uh, more interesting to fight the Ottomans, to fight the country I have actually helped build up as Castile. And this is what we're going to do, probably. Because right now the Ottomans are actually at a war, in war and pff, we can actually just try and, and profit. And take stuff from them. Let's hope it's, uh, it goes well. And um, yeah, this has been it for the interlude video. I hope you enjoyed this small um, overview over the global situation. And uh, 
Of course, I hope to see you in the next video when we play Castile and try and unite Iberia. Until then, bye.